she's just come round, she's going to... Show her gonna... what you've got to do, Paul. Show her what you've got to do. There you go. One, two. There you go. One, two, three, four. Easy. So, you make them so easy. Elbow. One, elbow, two, two, three, four. What the fuck? You've definitely got the weight in your hips. What does that mean? Because that's why we can do it, because counterbalancing women are carrying more weight in their hips, men carry Let me more try it again. I don't I think I got unlucky. I genuinely think I was unlucky. He went down like a sack of potatoes. So you go down, down, One, down, two, three. <laughs> you, sh you should get the boys to do that. <laughs> I don't think you should. I don't think you should do it anymore, Mark. You're going to actually have an injury. I don't like how impossible it is. That's the same for me with yeah, lots of things. Yeah. Pressure, with lots of things. With a press up. Yeah, I yeah. can't do press up. One of the things on the Loose Women Live tour they keep saying is, what's the talent that you've got? And I keep saying, well, I haven't got one. I mean, what, I don't know what talent I've got. And all week I've been saying, I haven't got one, I haven't got one. And then I thought, God, how silly. I have. And that is cooking everybody exactly what they want. So as a surprise, they don't know I'm going to do this on the show tonight. I'm making Jane super sweet cupcakes piled with piled high. They're going to be decorated with loads of sweeties. Because she loves sweeties. Um, I've made Judy bread pudding because she absolutely loves bread pudding. When she was first came to Loose Women, I made her one because we were talking about food and we both love food. And so I made her one as a surprise and brought it in because I'd said, oh, have you ever had bread pudding? I think you'd like it. Um, and she loved it. And then Kay is getting a banana and a pot of peanut butter. Because that's what she loves. Oh, I thought you were going to... Because that's your other talent, isn't it? Peeling and eating bananas. Yes. So, Mark must think I'm mad because my car's going to be in like half an hour and I'm suddenly priority. making... So and I'm suddenly making cupcakes. Mm. <laughs> uh -huh. So we've just arrived in Birmingham for the La Loose Women Live Tour. Hiya, how are you? Oh, no. And we're just having a look. This is where production all staying and travelling. I've got to turn this around. Oh, it's very rock and roll. Very rock and roll. Is this where all the Jack Daniels and um, and naughtiness goes on? <laughs> What's upstairs? The beds. Beds. Beds, and then the little living room. Wow, this is unreal! Oh, oh my god. god! It's like Snow White the Seven Wolves! This is cra crazy! Oh, oh, look at this! And look at the little beds! Oh, I wouldn't like that! Oh, I'm glad we're in a hotel! <laughs> I'm too old for this! And this is the sitting room! Wow. Yeah, one Good night. Day. So we've just come into our first oh, yeah. theatre, Birmingham. You know how many seats? Very exciting. 22. 22. And look, 22 what? 100. 2200. 2200. <laughs> Can I say that's really that bad? Is that a lot? She's used to it. Yeah. See? Well, no, see no. the big tour star already. No. Hello. Our <laughs> oh, survey so said. So, so can we do... We've got a little rehearsal now, we're just waiting for Jane, because Jane did the main show, so we're waiting for her to get here, so we're getting her, she's going to get in time. This is the lovely Mel. Mel, what are you on Instagram? Makeup by Melissa J. I had to think about it. <laughs> you do every time I have a bloody oh, ask you. Sorry. Makeup by Melissa J. You can follow on Instagram. It's marvellous makeup by... So, what are we doing differently for this makeup than we were doing the studio? Because there's 2,000 people out there. We've <laughs> got some eyelashes at the back. I was going to say, we're going extra, we're going hardcore. Hardcore. Is this what you would do for a club night out? I mean, not me personally, but yeah. because no, you're yeah. young and beautiful. I have to look at this face. It's a beautiful face. Um, yeah, so we're just slapping it on the trowel, basically. 
How you doing, Kay? <laughs> Very late. Just got into my hotel room. It's like half past 12. We had a massive debrief meeting after the show. And then I've just had a drink with the guys. Oh my God, so exhausted. I couldn't film a lot because it was like full on. Full on from the minute we got there. We had rehearsals, we had meetings. But oh my God, it was so amazing. There was lots of you subs there. So thank you so much for coming. I've got this huge makeup on because it's like stage makeup. <laughs> Sorry to it. But oh my God, I'm so tired. We've had no proper food all day. I'm fucking starving. I'm in this lovely hotel, but only here for a few hours because we've got to go early in the morning. <gasps> Cakes. I'm starving. Mmm. Mmm. I'm going to have the worst decisions tomorrow. I've had champagne and cake for my dinner. I'm really missing Mark so much. Don't ever die, Mark. I'll be too sad. Do you miss? I don't think I've ever been this tired. God, there was cake in here, so I'm so hungry. Thing is now, I'll probably get into bed and wake up and then not be able to sleep. Especially now being all this cake. Mm. Oh God, guys, that's Cardiff done. I haven't been able to vlog much because it's just been so bloody hectic. Look at the state of my dressing room. But I am going to try and vlog tomorrow because we're a bit more sure of what we're doing. It's a shame because I wanted to get loads of content for you with uh, Judy and Jane. But do you know what? It's just been full, full on. But oh my God, what an amazing night it was tonight. We had a really difficult, just want to shame Michelle, we had a really difficult first 10 minutes where we couldn't hear each other because there was too much of an echo. It was terrifying, literally couldn't hear each other. But we picked it up and they'd sorted out the sound a bit and then there's Judy out there. Love you! Bye, Judy! <laughs> and oh my God, I have just bloody loved this dress. Whatever you want to do, you can do in it. <laughs> Morning, guys. God, I feel about 125. Oh, just texted Kay. She's the same. It took us ages to get to sleep because, of course, do the show, you're totally knackered and think, oh, I just want to get back, to get, to my, get back and get to my bed. And then you lie down, of course your adrenaline, your cortisol's pumping like a nutcase and um, you can't get to sleep. And it's also really exciting last night. Spoke to Mark, really missing him and the girls. It's funny, isn't it? Hardly any time away, but I don't know if I've missed them. Um, yeah, so it was really great last night because um, Maddie did a gig uh, at the same time I was on stage. So we were, I, said, I spoke to Maddie last night, I said, God, isn't that weird that we were both in front of an audience because I had a really weird lurch in my stomach just before I went on yesterday. And I knew it wasn't to do with loose, the Loose Live. And I was like, oh my God, that was me, Maddie. She must be just getting ready or just going on stage as well. I could just feel it. Anyway, she had a brilliant, oh, hang on, just put the plug in. God, an old fashioned plug. She had a brilliant, Oh, I knew it, knew it, every bloody time. Oh my God. I didn't get on the Look at this 
size of that bunch for a gnome. Oh my, it is the tiniest bath I've ever seen. I'm gonna literally have my knees up like that, I don't care. I'm gonna bath so bad, it's so, I can't believe how much my body aches from wearing high heels. Yeah, anyway, so I spoke to her last night and um, she had a great gig. An absolutely great gig. Everybody loved it. Her friends, um, other people there. She got like offers of other work. So all round. <sighs> it was a good night, but now I'm just so tired. Oh, I can do this. I can do this. Yeah. So Liverpool. So we're off to meet Denise and Sinetra. So it'll be really scary for them today because of course, Kay and I have already done two shows and they've gone well and everybody's heard they've gone well and all of that. So, you know, if I was them, I'd be like, oh my God, I'm so nervous. But we're all great friends and uh, we will put them at their ease. Um, and my God, I have had so many moments Oh, Mark's gonna say, oh, great. Thanks for filming with the sound of the bar. Won't you, Mark? Eh? Uh, we will, yeah, so it's just so lovely. I've had so many moments over the last few days of thinking, God, I said this to Mark, it's so To just hang out and work with your mates like this. So, you know, Kay, Jane and I have known each other 25 years. And to just like, have done so many shows and then to just try something totally new with with it like this which is like scary and exciting and all those things but also just spending time with each other so that'll be really nice for me and Denise and Netra to do that okay today um and hopefully the show goes okay tonight do you that's a thing every day is a brand new day with a brand new audience who might hate some bits that, they, that others loved yesterday, want more of other bits that we did yesterday. It's just like, what do we do today? Um, and I'm staying the night in Liverpool tonight because it's too late to start going home and driving on motorways. I hate that, well not me, but somebody else. So I'll be back with the fairy tomorrow. And I'll take my dad to get his hearing aids. We're all really excited about that. Because my dad is 90 next week, 90. So he thought we should get his hearing um, on point. <laughs> just arrived. Where are we, Kay? The Liverpool Philharmonic Hall. Oh, I'm hoping we can get a bit more filming done today. We've lost Kay and Jane. No, not Kay. Jane and Judy, but we have, we are receiving Rece Sunetra we and Denise. <laughs> uh, this is a posh, this is, this is, this is a, a posh venue. Oh, look, violins and everything, Kay. Mm. Violins. Right, on this day. Well, you're next to Denzel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Thank you. So, today's dressing room is diddly -dee. Very nice piano. I can't believe how many of the dressing rooms have got pianos. Yesterday's dressing room had a piano as well. 
It's freezing. Absolutely freezing. Oh, let's turn that off. Oh, right. So now we're going to go and find Sinatra and Denise, have a meeting, and we start the whole thing all over again. Wow. Wow. This is Liverpool. Woohoo. 1,700 tonight. Oh, wow. Oh, and this is hotel. Oh, <laughs> this is hotel number three. Apparently, this hotel has only been open for three months. It's, it's weird. The lighting is horrible. I'm trying to get you better lighting. It's very... Oh, what's that? Oh, you like that? Look. It's... It's very posh, but it's very, very new. So it's like, I don't think anyone's ever been, oh, I hate that, I hate the connected door. I don't like that. Oh, it's not a connected door. <laughs> it's a bathroom. Ooh. Yeah. Um, very posh and oh, very nice soft towels. But again, just here for a few hours. I mean, honestly, look at the size of the door. It's huge, look at the ceiling. I wonder if you can get a sense of how high the ceiling is. I'll try and get a shot of the bar. Hang on, I'm just gonna get this down here. I'll try and get a shot of the bar tomorrow as I leave. Literally, just I'm so tired, just got dropped off. And I'm absolutely knackered, so I just couldn't be bothered to do any filming. Um, but the bar is amazing, stunning, with these huge palm trees in. And that's all I've seen of Liverpool. I saw the theatre and this, and that's it. And apparently it's such a great city. It's just, God, look at this. Look at the height of this room. I wish I was good at measuring. One, two, three, four. I think it's about five marks. Shit, man. How many feet is that? How many meters? I'll tell you what, guys, there is nothing glamorous about showbiz apart from when you have all your little makeup done, all lovely, and you wear beautiful clothes, and you step out on the stage with your mates, and the audience are entertained, and that's that's the glamorous bit. Because what defines glamour? Something just that just feels really good. It's the fear of failure. It's the fear of just being shit. It's the fear that if people have bought a ticket and then they're not entertained, you know, it's the responsibility that makes it non-glamorous, I think. I've had nothing to eat since breakfast and it's now midnight and I'm bloody starving. And room service is finished. So I'm going to drink lots of water. All right, no, no, you're not. the wrong bra so I was fiddling with it all the way through the show <laughs> and eventually I had to undo the bra. Thanks guys, thank you. <laughs> and that's my last one, Manchester. Ta-da, say goodbye Manchester. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Does this remind you of, Lee? I went to the Vatican, in the Vatican. The Vatican let you in. Vatican <laughs> Museum in the Vatican City. And these were confession boxes. I went into a confession box. What did you confess? I asked if it was okay to be gay. <laughs> Genuinely, I swear this is actually a true story. And said, what did they say? He said, I think it is okay to be gay, it is fine. And I was like, oh, and then as I was leaving, I was like, hold on my child.
any other priest may interpret the scriptures <coughs> as being not. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, so if you go to different box, you get a different answer. I was like, that's deal or no deal. Do you know what I mean? Like, whoa, he was like, oh. But I went to confession in the Vatican. I swear Did I'm you like, have only slags with plastic bags? <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't have that with me. But I swear on <laughs> my life, I've been to confession at the Vatican City. And the Vatican <laughs> Church or hotel, whatever it's called. <laughs> Look at this place. I feel like I feel like this room is bigger than us. I feel like we're on a Titanic. <laughs> Won't it be funny if it's a shithole? <laughs> if the rooms are rocking, <laughs> don't come and knock it. <laughs> Where do we put this thing? <laughs> oh, that's a laugh. That's a laugh. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh, oh, twin. Oh, oh god. <laughs> oh my god, I don't like it. What? Oh my god, there's a fireplace! It's too hot! It's boiling! Who's put a fucking fireplace? Oh my god, look at the fucking bathroom! Oh my god! I need to get out, I need to fuck Where's the bath? Where's the never a bath? There's no bath. Look at the this. size of that. Is this the light switch or is it? Oh, it's Go on, don't be a moment. No, I think it's the emergency. Oh my god. Look, there's a fucking Oh my god, there's a lip gloss. <laughs> Because only slags use plastic bags. <laughs> oh, we should get room service and get a nightcap. Room oh, service. We can sit here and go. Yeah. We we need a whiskey. To be but I hate whiskey. whiskey. <laughs> that is the question. I love whiskey. I'll have them both. That is the question. Bum bums. <laughs> he was shit, and he was thirty-three. I am now going to try and reach the ceiling, oh, and I'm right. 60 next year. <laughs> Get them off! <laughs> oh my god! That was so bad. Yeah, really bad actually. That was really fucking bad. Hang on a minute. Because <laughs> I have a phone. You don't know how bad you look. Do you know what this never happens to me? Go on. Oh, oh, don't no, wait. That's on me. <laughs> I'm spilling me. <laughs> right, let's get room further. Come on, I've done something weird. No, what's happened? <laughs> the bed's moving. The bed's moving. When did I have a drink? I don't remember drinking this much. Fucking hell, honestly. We're all I'm tired. I'm absolutely so in TikTok world, this is room service. Go on. So there's a cheddar and red onion sourdough toasty. <laughs> or there's a carver ham and cheese toasty. I don't know what carver is. I think they've carved it. <laughs> yeah, I'll have the carver ham now if they've carved it. Do you want? What? Do you now, want? what else is there? Is that it? Uh, this is well, five star love. Towels. <laughs> uh, all day dining. <laughs> uh, What's in all day dining? No, do you know what? They fucking sold us a pipe dream. <laughs> There's only two things available. What? The wait time is forty-five minutes. You are kidding me. Oh, I'll toast it myself. <laughs> oh. What? There's nothing left. <laughs> oh my god. Wait. There's literally nothing left on room service. No. We're in a five star fucking hotel with a room that's like a hundred feet high. Oh, the aircon, I can't put it <laughs> it's on. Just, it's hotter than hell in here. <laughs> it is literally hotter than hell. Right, do you want a drink? What's on room service? <laughs> nothing. I'm, Pizza? I'm, burgers? I'm, hot dogs? <laughs> what are we I'm getting? literally. What? I'm glitching as you say it. I'm like, We've come to a luxury hotel by accident. What God, the fuck can I we eat? I want a fucking burger, <laughs> not a fucking fireplace. They go, oh, you can have a fireplace with no lights. High loss. ceiling, no burgers. Yeah, it is lovely. Pepperoni pizza? We now have a medical emergency. Oh, don't. I bit my lip. <laughs> 
<laughs> you bit your lip. What? <laughs> Hoping that you could get a pepperoni pizza. <laughs> In a, this is a fucking five star hotel and we can't order anything. Honestly, the fucking heat. <laughs> the heat. We've got five. See. But no aircon. I can't see for the scene. <laughs> so Come on, Lee, we're starving. I've had so many lentil crisps. <laughs> Actually, this is the highest thing we have. The in. Look at the room service. What can we have? Only toasted. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, don't, I can't make it any clearer. <laughs> <laughs> Food wise, let's just get two cheese carver ham. <laughs> I don't know what carver ham is. We'll just get two cheese of them. Uh, so two carver ham and cheese toasters. Two. Add to order. What drink would you like? Anything. Well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what you? Oh. <laughs> Oh, you don't like gin, do you? <laughs> I love it. There's nothing else. You can't breathe now. Oh, I'm Christ. Laughing. Don't make this fucking easy. Can I just ask how you work the air con? I'm just trying it's to... It's hotter than hell. Tell them it's hotter than hell. It's, it's really hot. And I feel like I'm, I, I've tried to... Um, I've tried to do... It. Sorry? Yes, I've tried the thermostat. Um... And I'm trying to setting it, but I don't know if, whether I've done it right. So is there a way? <laughs> yeah. Uh, is there a particular setting? <laughs> it says off. It doesn't say off. But I've... <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, just one second. Good luck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, he's on. Oh, my God. Oh, he's right. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Thank you. I, I think I found it. It says on there. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Thank you, bye. Bye for me. <laughs> <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> what did you do? Just well, touch it. It was the on switch. <laughs> but I didn't see it. <laughs> oh, <don't. laughs> oh my god, I'm in agony from laughing. And my stomach. I'm gonna make this a TikTok and I'm gonna say and I'm gonna I'm gonna make my caption drunk and unable to put on the air condition. no, it didn't say on or off. What? Because I've got an email saying thank you, your order is being processed. <laughs> Hello, Leap here. It's an hour later, though. <laughs> Thank you for ordering. Your order number is 0559. But we've got two doors. Can we hear the first door? <laughs> See, beyond that door, there's another door. I know. Should I sit in the fucking In the middle porch? door. Show them the door. Open the door. Look. There's this door. And then there's another door. Imagine if there's food. Order a burger. <gasps> it's a burger there. No. no. When do we know it comes? Like <laughs> Somebody will ring or knock. <laughs> oh God, it's so difficult. Honestly, this is so annoying. It's so impossible. <laughs> <laughs> I, know I just want all a got fucking problems. Nando's. We've all fuck got room problems. service. I want fish and chips or a Nando's. Right. <laughs> it's right. Uh, false alarm. Thank you. Bye bye. Emergency <laughs> room <laughs> service. <laughs> um, excuse me, you sounded totally busy if you were trying not to.
<laughs> why are you carrying? And why is it still hotter than hell in here? <laughs> <laughs> How fucking hot is it in here? So hot. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Doesn't look like it's funny. What's not that? It's not fucking. <laughs> I'm a celebrity. Get me out. Of here. It's a cheese toasty. Oh, my fave. Yeah, exactly. It's a bit small. <laughs> I'm hungry. A bottle opener. A bottle opener. Shoe mitt. Oh, the shoe mitt. That's the what thing where you polish the shoes with. Do they want us to open it with shoe mitt? No, she didn't say. No, what I mean is, we don't have a bottle opener, but we have a shoe mitt. Oh. I've started walking around like I'm in <laughs> medieval ages. So and this wood? No, no, as in like. I start walking like this. Like I'm wearing breeches. Is it breeches or. Breeches. <laughs> but I don't need to do it. Morning, everybody. It's the morning after the night before at the Manchester Opera House. Oh dear, it's been a little bit rough. <laughs> oh, got in last night to my hotel with an incredibly high ceiling. Have a look at this. <laughs> Slipped into my jamamas. And I woke up this morning trying to find which part of me should hurt the most. And actually none of it does. And I'm sure that's got something to do with my jamamas. <laughs> oh my God. We're thinking we might celebrate by actually having breakfast because I never have breakfast. Tell them what your, what your video just got. Five million views. Five million views. Well, it made me laugh my head off, so I'm not surprised. Ready? One, two, three, let's! Jason, what do I have to remember to be a good announcer? Just introduce yourself first, because oh obviously God. everybody's going to want to be okay. But don't stop talking until this stops blinking. Okay. You need to hold these together. Do I hold it on my ear? I'll hold it for you. And when it stops blinking, you're alive. Go. Bing bong. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Nadia Swalla from Loose Women, and I'm here with your lovely train manager, Jason. This is your 1043 Loose Women service from Liverpool Lime Street to London Euston. I hope you're enjoying your journey so far. The onboard shop is in Coach C, and if you'd like to join the Wi Fi, please do so. And whilst you're there, give us a little vote for the best daytime show on National Television Awards by visiting nationaltvawards.com forward slash vote. Keep it loose, guys. And thank you, Jason. Judy, have you seen Jason? <laughs>
a little interjection that maybe could go in the home time, but look at the colour of the sky, look at the colour of it on me. It's like there's been some kind of a pocket pocket. I know what's happened, I know why it's doing that. Nadia's only gone and done a moonie, hasn't she, on stage in Liverpool or something.